4 Methods on How to Reset a Dodge Transmission Control Module TCM. Imagine this. You're driving your Dodge and everything feels just a little bit off. The gears don't shift as smoothly as they used to. Maybe there's a bit of hesitation when you accelerate, or the transmission seems stuck in a gear longer than it should. For many drivers, this scenario eventually points to the Transmission Control Module, or TCM. This tiny but powerful electronic brain is responsible for making sure your automatic transmission shifts at the right time, under the right conditions, for both performance and fuel efficiency. And just like any other computer in your vehicle, sometimes it needs a reset to clear out stored data and relearn the proper way to behave. Welcome to AutoV Fix, where today we're breaking down everything you need to know about resetting a Dodge Transmission Control Module. We'll cover exactly what the TCM does, why you might need to reset it, the symptoms of a bad one, the main causes of failure, and then take a deep dive into four different ways you can reset it. By the end, you'll have a complete understanding of how to tackle this issue the right way. The TCM is often called the brain of the transmission system. Its entire job is to collect information from sensors all around the car, and then decide how and when the transmission should shift. It's constantly monitoring things like how fast the car is going, how much you're pressing the gas pedal, how hot the transmission fluid is, and whether you're going uphill or downhill. Once it gathers all that data, it makes real-time decisions about when to engage solenoids, how much pressure to use, whether to lock up the torque converter, and even whether to request a little help from the engine control unit to smooth things out. Every modern automatic Dodge depends on this module to make shifting seamless. The TCM doesn't just make one-time decisions either. It has what's called adaptive memory. That means it learns how you drive over time, how hard you usually press the gas, how aggressively you accelerate, whether you like gentle shifts or quick ones. And it tweaks the transmission's behavior to match your style. This is great for comfort and efficiency, but it also means that when something changes, like you replace transmission fluid or fix a mechanical issue, the TCM may be stuck in its old habits. That's one of the reasons a reset becomes important. It wipes out that learned data and allows the module to start fresh. There are plenty of situations where resetting the TCM is the right move. Maybe you've just had the transmission fluid and filter replaced, or maybe the TCM was flashed with new software at the dealer. Sometimes you might notice weird shifting patterns, delayed engagement when you put the car into drive or reverse, or just erratic behavior that doesn't line up with how the car should operate. Resetting the TCM clears stored error codes and adaptive memory, essentially giving the transmission a blank slate to relearn how to perform. It's a troubleshooting step that can fix issues before you start replacing expensive parts. Now, what does it look like when a TCM is failing or malfunctioning? The most obvious clue is warning lights on the dashboard. The transmission light, the check engine light, or the malfunction indicator lamp might all come on, and behind the scenes diagnostic trouble codes will be stored in the car's computer. Another very common symptom is erratic shifting. Instead of smooth transitions between gears, you might feel hard jolts, delays, or strange timing. In some cases, the transmission might get stuck in a single gear and refuse to shift at all. Drivers sometimes report that the engine revs climb way up without the car shifting. Delayed engagement is another symptom. You shift into drive or reverse, and instead of the car responding immediately, there's a noticeable pause before it actually engages. That hesitation is often linked to the TCM. All of these issues are red flags that point to a potential problem with the TCM, and they're reasons to consider a reset. But why does a TCM fail in the first place? There are a few technical causes that mechanics see over and over again. One is a faulty solenoid on the circuit board inside the module itself. If that solenoid fails or its connections go bad, the whole module can stop functioning. Heat is another major factor. Because the TCM is often mounted near the engine or transmission, it's exposed to high temperatures. Over time, excessive heat can damage or even melt circuit boards. Faulty wiring is also a common culprit. Damaged or loose wiring to and from the TCM can interrupt the flow of electricity and data. And then there are voltage surges. If a starter motor or another system fails to regulate voltage properly, extra current can flood into the TCM and damage its delicate integrated circuits. It's worth stressing that driving with a bad TCM is not safe. If the module can't control shifting properly, you're dealing with unpredictable transmission behavior that can be risky on the road. That's why knowing how to reset it or when to seek professional help is such a valuable skill for Dodge owners. Now, let's get into the core of this guide. The four main methods you can use to reset a Dodge transmission control module. And depending on your tools and comfort level, you can choose the one that works best for you. The first and simplest method is known as the accelerator pedal method. 
This one doesn't require any special tools at all, just a bit of patience and precision. Here's how it works. First, make sure your Dodge is parked on level ground and the parking brake is engaged. It's important not to press the brake pedal or turn on headlights or accessories during the process because you want as little interference as possible. Next, turn the ignition key to the on position so that all the dashboard lights come on but don't start the engine. Some sources suggest letting the engine idle for 20 to 30 seconds before shutting it off and then going back to the on position. Once the ignition is on, press the gas pedal all the way to the floor and hold it down. Keep it there for about 10 to 15 seconds or until you see the tachometer sweep once. While you're still holding the pedal, turn the ignition off. Then release the pedal slowly and wait without touching anything else. After that waiting period, turn the ignition back on or start the engine. Finally, take the car for a test drive. During that drive, the TCM will begin relearning your shift patterns. This method works for many Dodge models, though not all, and it essentially triggers a reboot of the adaptive memory using voltage signals from the accelerator. If that doesn't work, the battery disconnection method is another option. This one involves physically cutting off power to the module so it has no choice but to restart. Begin with the car completely off and the keys removed from the ignition. Open the hood and disconnect the negative battery cable first, followed by the positive. This order minimizes the risk of accidental discharge. With both cables disconnected, touch the ends of the cables together, but not the battery terminals themselves, for about 30 seconds to a minute. This drains any residual power from the car's capacitors and electronic modules, forcing a clean reset. Some mechanics even recommend leaving the battery disconnected for an hour to be sure. After that, let the car sit for 10 to 15 minutes before reconnecting the cables, starting with the positive and then the negative. Once everything is secure, start the car and let it idle for a few minutes. Then take it for a gentle test drive. The TCM will need some miles, sometimes up to 100 or 150, to fully relearn shift patterns. That brings us to the third method, using an OBD2 scanner. This is the most precise way to reset the TCM because you're directly communicating with it through the car's diagnostic port. You'll need a scanner that specifically has transmission reset functions. Basic cheap ones usually don't. Plug the scanner into the port under the dashboard, turn the ignition to on but don't start the engine, and let the scanner power up. Navigate to the transmission or TCM menu, then choose the option to clear codes or reset adaptive memory. This might be labeled Keep Alive Memory Reset or something similar. Once you confirm the reset, the module's stored data and error codes will be cleared. Disconnect the scanner, cycle the ignition off and on, then start the engine and allow it to idle. After that, take the car for a test drive to let the TCM relearn. The advantage of the scanner method is that you can confirm the reset worked because the scanner will show you whether codes are cleared and you can even monitor live data as you drive. It's the most reliable DIY method, provided you have the right tool. If codes immediately return after clearing, that means there's an underlying issue that needs to be fixed, not just reset. The fourth and final method is to consult an automotive store or professional mechanic. This is the route to take if you're not comfortable with DIY resets or if you've tried the other methods without success. Many auto parts stores have advanced scanners that can clear transmission codes, and some will even do it for free as a customer service. If you go to a professional mechanic or a dealership, they'll have factory-grade tools like the DRB3 scanner that can perform, not just resets but specialized quick-learn procedures. While dealerships may charge higher labor rates, independent shops often provide the same service for less. Costs vary, but the peace of mind is often worth it. No matter which method you use, it's important to understand what happens after the reset. The TCM doesn't instantly know everything again, it enters a relearning phase. During this time, the module gathers fresh data about your driving style and recalibrates how it manages shifts. That's why it's recommended to drive gently for the first few miles after a reset. In some cases, it can take up to 100 or 150 miles for the TCM to fully settle into its new patterns. During that period, you might notice slightly unusual shifting, but that's expected. It's also worth pointing out that sometimes a reset isn't enough. If the transmission is slipping, if gears won't engage properly, or if warning lights keep returning, you may be looking at a TCM replacement. In some cases, replacing the TCM yourself is possible, but it often requires reprogramming tools to pair the new module with your vehicle. Costs for a Dodge TCM replacement can range from around $68 on the low end for certain models to over $600 for parts, with labor adding another $50 to $200.
If the transmission itself has suffered damage, a full replacement could run between $1,800 and $3,400, depending on whether you choose new, used, or rebuilt. Resetting the TCM can solve minor issues, but it's not a cure-all. It's best seen as a smart first step in troubleshooting. If problems persist, then more in-depth diagnosis is needed. At this point in the video, let me pause and say, if you're finding this information useful, make sure you hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. To wrap it all up, the transmission control module in your Dodge is a critical piece of technology that keeps your automatic transmission running smoothly. Resetting it can often clear out problems, restore proper shifting, and save you from unnecessary expenses. You can try the accelerator pedal method, disconnect the battery, use a professional-grade OBD2 scanner, or turn to a trusted mechanic or dealership for a factory reset. Each method has its place, and knowing when and how to use them puts you in control of your vehicle's performance. Thanks for watching Auto V Fix. If you learned something today, go ahead and subscribe, share this with fellow Dodge owners, and let us know in the comments if you've ever reset your TCM and what results you saw. Until next time, keep your car running strong and stay in control of your drive.